You are live. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the November 16th Minerva Park Council meeting. Um, roll call. Councilperson Wolf here. Councilpresident Ruger, I am here. Councilperson Martin, hey, I'm here. Councilperson McNamara, present. Councilperson Cobbs, present. And Councilperson Camera is excused. All right, Pledge of Allegiance. Ready to approve it. 
So, you know, please take a look at this and answer these questions. What problems it, is it fixing? Why isn't Jordan Road and uh, Park Lane House, why aren't they included in this? Again, it makes no sense. Thanks. How much time do I have? A minute? Yeah. Do you have another minute to end about? <laughs> well, let me, I didn't say I was going to bring this up. What really irritates me, and I talked to, to, uh, to David and JP about this, is that the dedication plaque, for some reason, it lists all the council people that have been on council for the past probably eight years, but it excludes myself, Joe Curl, and Nikki Strezza. These were all members of council that were actually involved in the, new, in the new building and the planning of that. But for some reason, those three names were excluded from the plan. I realize that some of you guys weren't the ones that did this, but I'd like to hear the answer to that question. Is why, because the people whose names appeared on there were, you know, John Michaels, Mike Braun, Scott Hansen, uh, Jen Hawkins, they had nothing to do with the new building being so built. Their thing was, you know, they were responsible for us trying to buy the building on 161. You know, so they had nothing to do with it, but their names are on the dedication flag. Well, time's out. Thank you very much for your comments. I hope I do get answers. Um, I did notice someone else just uh, wandered in for the meeting. Did you have comments you wanted to make? Welcome on up. You will have uh, five minutes. Just state your name and address, and I will start the timer for you. And don't just uh, feel too worried or afraid. Go ahead. My name is Denise Morrison, 
in August of 26, August 26, date may be off of 2021 in preparation for the hearing that was supposed to be held in September. Now, the, <coughs> the um, information that was requested was from IBI, and IBI does a lot of possibly surveys. Well, I saw that he's been doing surveys, or they've been doing surveys for the Village of the Miracle Park also. Um, the survey company was obtained by the commissioner, and he requested um, detailed information in order to um, prepare for the hearing. Um, after the hearing was held, I called IBI to ask for um, a interpretation and was told that um, the information that was provided to Mr. Fisher back in August of 2021 prior to the January 13, 2022 hearing um, pertain, er, included an encroachment of onto our property, which was ended up being withheld from the hearing so that the permit holder could um, keep her permit. Now, I guess that's my interpretation. So, um, I have a question. What do you do when there's a finding of encroachment? Uh, I am not sure. How do you handle encroachment if you don't know how you do it? I'm not sure what you're just talking about. Can you I'm, just be a little more specific about what you're talking about? I would prefer to answer if you want to kind of play it. Yeah. This yeah. yeah. is for legal counsel, too. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Can, can we cross the way forward to uh, Judge Sherman for our legal counsel? Just, okay. we, don't want, we don't want to tell you something incorrect. Yeah, I don't, go in with talking and giving the incorrect answers. That's true. <coughs> that's why I just said I'm not, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, okay, I don't want to give answers that we don't actually have just or that are inaccurate. I don't know what we're talking about. Just sounds specific. Okay. You were at the council meeting or at the hearing on January. Which hearing? I'm sorry? Which hearing? January 13, 2022. Regarding, well, regarding the fence on, on the property. Do you recall? Is that an this answer? This is not a question and answer session. I don't know what we're talking about. This, this is a, I, what, oh, you were telling me you don't know what we're talking about, and I was explaining this to you. All right. All right. Uh, anything else for your comments? No. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, any other citizens' comments? All right, then let's get right into the legislation. A fair amount to read, not a lot to pass tonight. Um, starting with Ordinance 21-2023, an ordinance to make appropriations for the current expenses of the Village of Minerva Park for the year 2024. Yes, that is 2024. That is the big budget for next year. This is just a second reading. Uh, there is a finance meeting on the 30th, correct, Council Percival? Yep. Uh, 30th. It's a really early meeting. It's at 4.30. Um, it's going to be one of the last times we talk about the budget before it is getting passed, so if you're interested in that, we'd love to see you here at the Municipal Building. <coughs> Moving on to Ordinance 24-2023, an ordinance updating the wage and salary ranges, the number of employees and positions for the Village of Minerva Park, and declaring an emergency. Uh, this is just a second reading. Uh, this sets our salaries and things for the next fiscal year, or next calendar year, I guess, uh, being passed as an emergency, so once it's read, it can go into effect, and people can't be waiting in limbo for a month, making sure what they're going to make or not. <laughs> Moving on, Ordinance 26-2023, an ordinance establishing health care benefits for employees and the mayor, and declaring an emergency. Uh, this is also a second reading. Again, this is uh, an emergency, so once we pass it, it can actually go into effect on January 1. 
as of now, uh, and Mayor Southern is not here right now to fill me in, I do not believe they have a finalized plan yet. They are still shopping around. If you go and look at the packet, you'll still see some X's in some of those number parts. Uh, trying to get the best deal we can, lowest cost for us, and best benefits for our employees. Uh, oh, and by the way, I am doing this pretty quick. If anyone here has something they want to say about any of these, just chirp in and I can slow down. Here you go. All right, moving on. Ordinance 27 2023. An order, excuse me, an ordinance authorizing the mayor and fiscal officer to enter into a contract for major medical insurance for the village employees and declaring an emergency. Once we choose the plan, we then have to accept and make an ordinance to accept it. All right, this is one of our only first readings tonight, um, and this is a fun, exciting one. Ordinance 30, 2023, and hold on, because it's got quite a title. An ordinance amending Chapter 880 of the Murder River Park Codified Ordinance to update municipal income tax provisions as required by the House Bill 33 and declaring an emergency. Text of this ordinance is currently being written and will include language that follows guidelines from Rita HB model language as attached. Oh, this is not the one. That is the fun one. Sorry. Uh, this is still a first reading of that. We have to make our taxes, of course in compliance with House Bill 33. Um, that has not been finished yet. We're still working with Rita to figure it out. It has been read the first time. Here's the one that I thought it was. Ordinance number 31, 2023. An ordinance amending part 12 and 14 of the codified ordinances of the village of Monroe Park and amending the zoning map for the village. This is a first reading. Um, as anyone who's been following along knows, for the past few weeks we have been doing many meetings, long work sessions, going over the code and making changes. That code is now set. Um, and let me be clear on what I mean by that. That code is not planned to be altered between now and final passage. Um, it is the code that can always be amended after it's passed. Uh, if we were to crack it open and start again, it would restart a clock of having hearings and giving time, and it would not get passed when we would want it to get passed. If you are curious as to what the changes are, on the uh, front homepage of the Minerva Park website, right underneath latest news, is a link to it. We also have, for those of you who like paper, out in the uh, entryway of the municipal building, there are two binders. One has chapter 12 and one has chapter 14. Are those my two chapters? Did I do that right? Yeah. Awesome. Has chapters 12 and 14 yeah. out there and a new map of the zoning. So if you want to stop by, you haven't seen the new building and you want to stop by and sit and read something, I believe they are how many pages, Mark? 269. 269. You can spend a whole day doing it. All right, which brings us, I believe, to our only bill up for passage, or ordinance up for passage, and it's a resolution. Resolution 2023-36, resolution affirming the appointment of Sean Forley as a full-time school resource officer for the village of Minerva Park and declaring an emergency. Uh, again, whenever we employ, appoint employees like this, we always declare it as an emergency because Otherwise, we have to wait 30 days to tell them that it's official. Um, I will let anyone who wants to ask the representative from our police force any questions they would. Lieutenant Phillips, I know this is a formality because I know this officer. Um, is there any reason for the record why Officer Corey Corley should not be um, fully employed as a resource officer for the village of Minerva Park? All right, uh, having heard that, I will move passage of Ordinance 2023-36 as an emergency. Second. Seconded by McNamara. All right, it's my first time, guys, so bear with me. All right, Councilperson Wolf. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. Councilperson Camera is excused. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. 
Council President Brueger. Aye. Council Person Cobbs. Aye. All right, so that is passed as an emergency. Uh, moving on then, we are on old business. <coughs> Any old business that anyone would like to bring up? All right, on to new business. As of now, we're meeting with Representative Abdullahi about um, finding some late restoration funding avenues is on December 4th. Wonderful. So I will bring back, hopefully I'll have, you know, sacks full of cash, but for maybe the next best thing. Promises from the Ohio General Assembly to give us some money. Almost as good as a sack full of cash. All right, Thank anyone you. else? Okay, okay. motion to adjourn. Second. Seconded, and all in favor? Aye.